incomplete data, the health ministry asserted the information in more than 15,000 fatality records had stemmed from, quote, reliable media sources. However, the ministry never identified the sources in question, and Gaza has no independent media. But I thought that was the whole point. I thought the Gaza Health Ministry was the source. And now they're citing media? We recently had, as a guest on this show, a statistics professor from the University of Pennsylvania who dug into the numbers provided by the Hamas-run Ministry of Health and found they just didn't add up. According to the Ministry of Health, the majority, it's over 70% of the people dying are women and children which leaves essentially no room for fighters or civilian non, uh, non-fighting men to be part of the total. And so this has been promulgated all over the place almost since the very beginning. And as a result, we're just staring there looking at the numbers and saying this can't possibly right. Joining us now is Joe Trusman. He is a uh, senior research analyst for the Foundation of Defense and Democracies, where he tracks and studies Palestinian militant groups. Thanks very much for coming on the program. Appreciate it. All right, so provide some context for us here. Why would the Gaza Health Ministry now be admitting that their numbers aren't necessarily backed up by evidence? First of all, thank you for having me on. It's, it's quite obvious. Well, it, we're actually now more than six months into the war. And I believe, rightfully so, that people are asking questions. Finally, six months into it, uh, where are you getting your data, right? Where, uh, give us some context. And th- the problem here is that I think people are catching on that obviously this is run by, uh, the ministry is run by Hamas, but also that Hamas is attempting to control the narrative here, the flow of information that's coming out of the Gaza Strip, because, I mean, let's face it, Hamas can't defeat the Israeli military head on. However, what they are doing, have been doing for the past six months, is running a, a, a parallel program here with information warfare. And we're seeing with, with Hamas, uh, with the, uh, the, the ministry, the Hamas-run ministry, where he's coming up with these, these numbers, right, to try to uh, in, almost inflate these numbers, so to put pressure on Israel to no, force a ceasefire. No, that I understand. That's obvious, right? Uh, but but yeah. what I don't get is why they're now... And I guess they're not quote coming clean, but you know, you guys were able to find this. You know, where did you find this material? How did you find that they are seemingly admitting at least some flaws? Right. Uh, you know, this is it's in plain sight. The ministry publishes data uh, online. Now, whether it can be, it can be on a, a Telegram, a social media channel, a Telegram, for example, a website, uh, but this data is there, right? But nobody's looking at it, or at least not enough people are looking at it. And this is where the data was found, and these numbers just don't add up. Huh. Um, and from here, uh, the question then becomes, how many of whatever the number is were actually fighters, right? That's one thing that they don't do. They don't separate out the number of civilians from the number of people effectively killed on the battlefield. Have you been able to figure out anything more about how many of the whatever thousands of people who've been killed were actually fighters? Unfortunately, no. Now. The IDF has cited more than 10,000 fighters killed. Uh, And I think that's a legitimate estimate, but it's an estimate nonetheless. Now, we have to remember, there are about 12 armed groups fighting Israel uh, that that operate in Gaza. So it's not just Hamas, Islamic Jihad, quite a few others. Uh, So as you said, the uh, Hamas run health ministry is not... Uh, is, is, is not telling us, is not letting us know, okay, well, which are civilians, which are fighters, right? So uh, they're all being essentially lumped in together here. And it's making it seem that Israel is killing uh, over 30,000 civilians here when the numbers just don't add well, let me up. Ask you this, Joe. Let me ask you this, Joe. Do you think that they're just literally making things up? I mean, you know, the statistics professor we had on the show was saying mm-hmm. that it all just seemed to go in a line that wasn't natural, that, that when you look at the numbers day by day, he was saying it couldn't have actually occurred in the way that they are claiming. Do you think that they're just making it up? 
Listen, it's certainly possible. I'll, I'll say this. I've been tracking conflicts between the Palestinians and Israelis for more than eight years. I've been looking at fatalities, especially those of terrorist groups uh, in previous conflicts, and they have inflated numbers. When I say they, I mean terrorist organizations, especially Hamas. Uh, and they've admitted to it, they've admitted that uh, fighters have been uh, killed, but they, they've hid their identities, they've hid the numbers mm. uh, for their own reasons. Uh, so again, it wouldn't surprise me at all if they're just making a lot of these numbers up, because again, like I said before, they have to control the narrative, the flow of information that's coming out of Gaza, because uh, there is no independent media in Gaza. Nobody is going to question what they say. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.